sorrow and silence for a man responsible for so much euphoria and noise. Hundreds of people paid tribute to the life of Jack Charlton in Ballina today, a place he regarded as a second home. He came here on a fishing expedition in the late 1980s, loved the place and ended up buying a house close to the banks of the River Moy. He stayed with us for a number of years every time he was coming on holidays and uh, I was joking with him one morning after he came back from fishing for the breakfast and I said to him, yeah, you should buy a house here, those houses going up at that time. And uh, he said, oh, not at all. And 10 minutes later, he came back and said, you know what, you're right. Today's event was as much about Jack the man as Jack the manager. He was loved. Everybody loved him, you know. And he was that type of a fella that no matter when he saw a crowd, whether they be old or young, he'd always stand up and have a wee chat. You know, he came back year on year and he was back again last year, you know, and it's just, I think it's, it's, it's nice to see, uh, you know, that people have embraced him and, and he's embraced us. Please play put him under and that pressure. regard was Carlton echoed by the country's radio stations playing put him under pressure across people. all frequencies at 12.30. We've qualified for the World Cup. Go and compete. <laughs> The mural here in Ballina is a temporary tribute to Jack Charlton, but already discussions are underway about a more lasting memorial to the former Ireland manager. His legacy should be marked by naming a landmark like this footbridge here that crosses the River Moy where he fished uh, after him. Local councillors are expected to consider that proposal at a municipal district meeting here tomorrow. Pat McGrath, RTE News, Ballina, County Mayo.